Welcome back everyone for the next part of Dead Store. In the last part we had an encounter with the grandma. In order to save Pothead we had to stop her. And stopping her means putting her to rest. After all she was a giant soul. She was well beyond her years that she was supposed to live and that's why uh, a lot of stuff happened with her. She kind of went crazy after all. Transforming her own grandson into a pothead. With pot puns. You cursed him with an eternal life of pot puns. Are you proud to yourself? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's let's just get out of here, okay? And I would say the quickest way around there would be through the door. Since we're already there, I could also just buy an upgrade. Ah, well, uh, that doesn't really look like look right. What you say? Don't you think? What is that? Can't really enter. Okay. Hello, guys. You aren't really trying to attack me. That's already a good sign. Let me just uh, quickly pass them, huh? Lord of the Door. World Pets Lord. Well, a crow. Hello there. And how exactly did you get in here? Ah, what's the point in having command over all the doors in this world if my servant never remembers to lock them? So, why are you here? I haven't actually met a crow in many, many years. You still have those uh, beaks? Nice. I says uh, I sense a vast amount of soul energy about you, little crow. Strange. It feels oddly familiar to me. Oh, is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward. Uh. Very good job, little one. Bravo! Now, be a good little bird and turn it in into your vault, okay? There's no need to bring souls directly to me. I have more important matters to attend to. Ciao! Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Was that a bit of a quick exit? Well, that was landing. What are you doing here? Did you find your assignment yet? Wait, you have a giant soul. But it's the wrong one! I, I can't process that! How did you even manage that? Ah, never mind. Get back out there and find your assigned soul, okay? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're going to see even more giant souls, I can promise you that. Can't help you unless you bring back the right soul. Can't you see how stressed I am? I see that. I see that. And what about you? If you die and don't finish the task, maybe I'll get a mountain of paperwork to fill in. <gasps> that would be amazing. <laughs> God damn it. You want me to die for that? For paper? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me just uh, let me just get uh, an upgrade, huh? Ah, don't have enough. But you know what? I mean, in general, in the last playthrough that I did, I didn't really bother with strength or magic because my daggers are quick. If you have speed, you don't need damage. But I have neither damage nor speed now. Maybe I should boost up my magic a bit more. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I already have the, the swords for one upgrade. I guess I'm going to keep those three. Yeah, I'm going to level up those three. I probably completely ignore strength because half damage is always half damage, no matter how much I boost it. 
Okay, now let's just quickly see. I think. Yep, you changed location. I'm relieved. It was kind of like the world was getting, you know, stagnated. Now, uh, no new soul is being made, which means nothing to reap and no rewards for us. Wait, no new souls? Be wary exploring all those old offices. It's fun, sure, but some of those upstairs don't want crows like us snooping. <laughs> well, I can already see that those little guys are bad. Oh, by the way, I should probably show that off really quickly. Little guy, follow us. All of us, we need to go all the way. No, 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 you need to follow. Come on. It's a long way. You need to follow suit. There you go, just the stairs. There's something I really need to show you guys for an achievement really quickly. And you're only able to do that if one of those little tree spirits are around. Are you new? The useless crows covered in trash keeps throwing seeds at me. So I sent him on his way. He acts all carefree, but he sets my guard sense tingling. I'm sure he's up to no good somehow. Ah, you are the guard crow. You actually left your spot, because nobody really cares who entered that, that gate, huh? Anyways, uh, the achievement is about this gate. You know how it's X when we pass? Well, if that little guy goes through it, it's a check mark. And if you see that, you're going to get an achievement for that. Really nice that they included that, right? Since um, only those little guys are so free to walk around here without any type of weapon. So, and now that we have the giant soul, we should probably return to the giant crow and report in, in order to get our next direction, right? Yeah, probably. But... In the last fight, the fireball ability was kind of helpful. I mean, not as helpful as the arrows, but still, kind of helpful. So how about we're going to upgrade that really quickly, huh? Yeah. With another pot, because we really need that one. Trust me, we really, really need that one. Well then, white door, let us through. So as you can see, in order to upgrade your ability, not only do you need to fight in order to acquire the ability, you need to fight to upgrade them as well. And let me tell you, those fights can become a bit annoying sometimes. Now this guy is the first one that you're going to, that you're going to face, so uh, it's not so bad in comparison to another Oh, free. oh my freaky god, I'm screwing up already. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god, he's not so bad like the other guys. As you can probably guess, we have four slots. We can upgrade our abilities at least four times. Each their own, okay? Now technically speaking, I always... Alright, or should I say, I completely forgot about this. I didn't even thought that I would be able to upgrade them. So early in the game, so I pretty much spent my whole time with my normal abilities. But well, <laughs> now after having such trouble with the urn, I decide to go for the fire ability right away because it's really, really helpful. But my god, I forgot how difficult <laughs> that guy was! <laughs> And why is it difficult? Because of the fireballs. The fireballs circling around him. Don't you think? <laughs> oh my god, I think I like the green one better. Yeah, I think I like the green one better. Okay, okay orange. Be kind. We have some difficulties. Okay. Don't stop or slow down time! It's not kind! Don't take quick. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I need to focus a bit on that. Because it's rather slow, but strong. And every few hits, 
units is going to increase the numbers of fireballs on this disposal. I tell you, I always forget about them. They also don't really slow down. See, they don't slow down. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is going to take a few attempts. I can already see that. <sighs> I wish I heard I would already go to the creek. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> hate him. <laughs> yeah, already it's Grex. They have to find free fireballs. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I hate it. I, I ran right into that. Dead. God damn it, dude. God damn it. Oh my god! Died! <laughs> it died! <laughs> ah, circle of flames! So broken, so deadly, so. <sighs> A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your fireball spell now burns enemy for extra damage over time. <sighs> and that is why the battle is so tough. <laughs> It is a very useful ability. It's literally a dot that you can place or reapply whenever you want to. That is also something that I would have loved to know. That it is possible to get that for a very long time. Because, uh, yeah, I pretty much beat all the giant souls without that update uh, upgrade. So, uh... <sighs> you, can you can probably imagine how I felt about that, but... <laughs> Anyways, uh, you already saw how difficult this fight is, yeah? The ability is really worth it. Get it. And always keep in mind, I mean I was really quiet during that fight, but let me explain. Every time he smacks the ground, you have a window up to two arrows to hit him. 
afterwards he's always going to jump you. Because of those fireballs that circle around him, his jump attacks are really tricky to dodge. Not because of the jump itself, but because of the fireballs that rushes to its side. I died so many times because of the fireballs, or because the room has uh, the abyss around it, because, you know, when, when I try to avoid it, suddenly I don't have any rooms left, and then I fell, and then I lost more HP, and ah, it's such a mess, but the ability is really, really worth it. Do not miss that one. It is, it is very important to acquire that skill, especially with a freaking umbrella, okay? It is really, really worth it. Now, let's go back to the crow, right? After all, it's really, really close by. And we are back. Now, there you go. I have the first soul. Incredible. You have already achieved more in this short time than I was able to achieve in countless years. If you can reap the souls of the other two giant, we can open the, de uh, the dead store. I suggest you head east, beyond the woods. There, a self-proclaimed king reigns over the ruins of a flooded cathedral. Okay, thanks. Going there right away. By the way, I think I forgot to grab a seed somewhere along the way. At the very least, during my editing, in the last part, I spotted it somewhere, but I'm not really sure where it was. But then again, once I explore this area more thoroughly, with more abilities, we're going to find that seed sooner or later, right? At the very least, as long as I keep it in mind, it's never going to be forgotten. Now then, without further ado, let's open up two ways. There you go. Alright, oh, there is a soul that I can already grab over there. Of course we can pick that up one up as well. I mean it is already on the way, right? It is just laying around there, which we can just simply grab it as it is. So I think with that wait, is there something towards the left side? Oh there's another shortcut that we can create. And since we are already here, is there anything else on this side? Does it really look like it? Well, we are going to check out where this is going to lead us really quickly, because... Wait a second, where does it lead? Oh my god, wait. Was that... Was that that one room with the mage? Oh yes, yes it was. Ah, nice. Okay. Wait, are we... Are we actually close to the seat now? <sighs> I'm not really sure. That's the problem. I don't have a map, so I'm not really sure where I saw it. <laughs> it was near a bridge, a collapsed bridge, but I'm not really sure where that bridge was. Hmm. Anyways. Forward towards the right direction, right? And in order to get there, we need to light. The lantern. Well, uh, hello there. Would you be so kind? Thanks. <sighs> Isn't it just nice? They even have a bus system in this world. In form of that little blue guy. Now, I'm not really sure why he is doing that and what we are giving him in order to pay. Since, uh, the only thing that we did was light up a lantern and that was it. But it's still kind of cute, right? Totally. Totally cute. Okay then. Let us open up the door in order to get into the jungle. Great. Now I can already say the jungle is a lot more complicated than uh, the witch's house since uh, there are a lot of ruins and destroyed areas and destroyed buildings and ah, there's so much 
can... You don't even want to know how often I've got lost around here. <laughs> and let's not forget about the plants, right? We also need to take care of the plants around here. Not like in the garden where everything was peaceful and everyone or and somebody already took care of everything. Nah, we need to take care of this infestation really quickly. Except of those guys. Those guys are nice. See that? Land, uh, ladders, stairs, hooks. It's just bring you up without any worries. So let me just quickly check this. Can't really. Oh wait! I almost, I almost skipped over the healing seat. Oh yeah, I should never do that. So I can already see there's another healing seat up top. The only way forward is to go from here. And it seems like those little fellas over here already changed their mask. Huh? So much for the urns, huh? Already swapping to. Can't really tell. Blue mask? Green mask? But then again, I guess it's supposed to be fitting to the, to the general idea of this area, right? Yeah, totally, totally. And I pretty much already showed off what we are about to do in this area. Yeah. We're going to use the plants around here in order to open up the ways. Because there's absolutely no way you can actually harm that, uh, that flower. And if you try to attack it, it's just going to retaliate. Nothing else. So now that we know that, how can we have that flower hunt out? First of all, we can use it to uh, destroy the enemies, if you want to. But then again, we just earn our fire ability, so I kind of want to use that as often as I can. But most importantly, they act as bombs. They open up shortcuts. Which means, every time we see a flower, we try to reach the next location with a breakable wall as quickly as possible in order to... Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Don't you dare jump at me. Okay. We try to reach the location of the next breakable wall as quickly as possible. Because you only have a short time window before she is ready to throw out her bomb. And once that happens, if you aren't on the right spot, that literally means... We need to rush back here and try again. Okay. So, should I activate that pot? How many seeds do I have? Three. I guess I'm gonna save that one for later. But probably I always try to go for the pots in the dungeon first, so that I don't need to worry about uh, re-exploring the dungeon later once I have more seeds. Because I already know for a fact you will never have enough seeds for all the, all the pots right away. That's just how it is. Okay? It is not possible. I already tried that. And I'm not even sure where I missed my pots. Or if I missed some seeds. Anyways. Ridiculous. <laughs> I, I kind of messed it up so badly in my save that, that I'm going to do it right in this one. In order to get that achievement. Okay? We're totally going to get that achievement in this LP. So, is there anything else around here? Doesn't really seem like it. No pot that I missed. No seed that I missed. Okay. Oh. Don't you dare do that. And as you can probably guess... It's not going to be that effective... To use fire against those... Fireplanes, right? After all. Fire is fire. And is that another... Oh, yes it is. Okay. Seems like we're getting really, really close in order to upgrade our magic abilities. Which means... Uh, flower, I need another bomb. Right over here. Great job. Now, please give me a lift. We need to get higher. And of course, we also need to build a bridge in order to get over to the other building. 
Is there anything else I need to keep in mind about here? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay, let's create another bridge. Mm -hmm. This way to the forest settlement. Alright! Right! It's a it's a little village in the jungle. We just need to find it. Somewhere. But first of all. The most important thing. My AP upgrade, okay? <laughs> I can't skip that! It's important! I am a magic build user! I need all the MP here! <laughs> Three shots, one more! Ah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, how do I get down there? Yeah? Ah, okay. And that means I need to uh, take this lift again and walk over all the, all the bridges. <sighs> it was only a matter of time before it happens again. Right? Totally. At very least it was the first bridge, not the second one, or else uh, a walk of shame would have been even longer. So, and now about the settlement. Oh, by the way, those plants are pretty much harmless. But the only way to attack them is by shooting them first with something like fire or an arrow so that they are getting scared. And if you just leave them be, as you can see, they are going to shoot some fireballs here and there. So be wary of that. But then again, I guess you can also reflect them, uh, their attack again, like the mages, in order to hit them and stun them. Maybe. Ah, but I can't really tell. Anyways. Hello there, guys. We used to explore the dungeon, but the forest sealed the map. Oh, really? And you? The Frog King sat on my brother until his inside became his outside. He did what? Ugh, okay. And you? Be careful. Some plants may look delicious, but they think the same about you. Yeah, I already saw that. There are a few plants that literally try to eat us. Hello, feather person. I'm hard of hearing, so you will have to speak up. Okay, and what is that? He seems to be praying to some kind of being over there. And our best friend. Hello there! You look like a fellow traveler. What brings you here? Did you come to learn the music of the forest children as well? What a shame it is that the forest elder lost her horn. I hope she finds it soon, so I can hear her beautiful melody. Ah, oh, I love that girl. I really do. So, but I already see our path is getting a little bit long. So I guess we're going to save that person for the next part. I hope you guys had fun and see you the next time when we are trying to find a horn for the forest people and talk to the elder and see what's actually going on around here. <laughs> Until then! Bye-bye!